everyone, I'm back with a new topic. Today's topic is algorithms through art. Algorithms, what are they? Well, they are the step-by-step -step instructions or formulas compiled to solve a problem or complete a task. Very similar to something like a recipe or any art, for example, how to draw a square. From brushing your teeth to making yourself a cup of coffee or to coding. All of these have algorithms in them and are used throughout the process. So you can see that algorithms are used in so many places and that they are important. So you can understand that in coding, algorithms are a vital part. Let's get started. But before that, you will find the link to start your coding in the description as you will not be able to start coding from beginning in this website. Okay, now that I've told you that, we're ready to start coding. Okay, so this is how your screen will look like when you open the link. You can click on that there. And if you get any little pop-ups helping you out on what to do, you can simply cross them out because I'll be guiding you throughout this video. So firstly, we're going to have to create a line along the thinner um, sketch, we can say, given on the screen. We will be using the move forward as this woman is in the right direction. Let's run and check if it's right. <laughs> Yes, that was right. We're going to click on continue and we're going to do the next step. Now we're going to have to create half a square. How are we going to do that? Like first, like our first level, we're going to use move forward because the lady is already in her, in the right direction. After that, we're going to have to ask we're going to have to give the code for her to turn because the next line is in a different direction and it's in the right direction. We're going to use the turn right. Next, we're going to choose the first block again, move forward. Let's see if this works. Yay, we've done the second code too. Let's continue. This time, we're going to have to create a square. How are we going to do that? We've already gotten the code for the first line. So this code will make the Elsa move forward and turn right. Next, we have to give, her code, give the code for her to move forward once more. Again, we're going to ask her to turn because the next line is in a different direction. Once more, we use move forward. Then again, turn right. Once more, we'll use move forward and turn right. That makes it four lines. Let's see if this works. Okay, I'm going to click on try again so that I can explain you something. Here you can see that you have a limit of using the blocks here. And you can see that there are nine blocks and we've used only eight. Sorry, there are the lim there's the limit for eight blocks, but we've crossed the limit. Now, let me tell you what is the extra code that we've given here. That is the turn right in the last. That is not needed. As the turning is not essential to complete the square. Now, we can move to the next level. We can just go up here to the navigator and choose the next one. When you get a video like this, you can simply cross that out. Now we're going to use a repeat block, which is a loop because it repeats the code inside it to do the this to do the same coding, but in a shorter way. As you can see, we already have the code here, but how many times are we supposed to repeat this? Four times, of course, because there are four lines. Let's see. Yay! 
Yes, now we've given the same code but in a shorter manner. Let's continue. Now we're going to create three squares. As you can see, there are two loops. When there is a loop inside a loop, it is called a nested loop. Now, only thing we need to give here is the number of times we need to repeat this code and the number of degrees we need to turn. If we pay attention to the instructions here, we'll know what to do exactly. So, as you can see, we need to create three squares. You can also see the, stents, um, the sketch given here. So, we're going to give this repeat as three. Next, we're going to give the degrees by which she, sh she should turn right. As you can see here, it is 120. Click on the question mark and from the drop down list, choose 120. Now let's run and see if this works. We'll make it quicker by using this slider here. As you can see, our code was right. Let's click on continue. Now we need to use the repeat block to make a square 10 times and then turn 36 degrees. So to add a loop without disturbing the given code here, we're going to take the first block, which is the repeat block, put that under the when run and then drag and drop the block below the, the loop we just added inside the loop we just added. Now we're going to give how many times this code should be repeated. As you can see, we are using nested loops once more. So we will click on the question mark and from the question mark, we shall choose 10. As you can see from the instructions, we need to create the square 10 times. Now we're going to give the number of degrees by which she should turn right. As you can see from the instructions, it is 36 degrees. Let's click on the question mark and from the drop down list, we choose 36 degrees. Let's run and see. As you can see, we have completed this coding too. Excellent. Now, let me tell you something. You can do the same coding on your phone too. Now, I've done the levels till 6, but I'm going to let you do the levels after this. Let's see how long you can go. To share your drawing, you can just click on the link here, copy it, and paste it wherever you want to share. Any questions? Well, I would love to answer them. Please do put them in the comments and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic.